Yo, this is Waka Flacker with a bit of a, an issue video. Um, for those that are in the know, Tritut lost access to his Twitter account like two weeks ago because he didn't have TA2FA in his uh, email. What of reasons, I'm not sure. But he ended up getting it back recently. And Alois today was hacked on his Twitch. Quinto Arkin gave away the prism shit in his stream. He's apparently got it back now because he changed the picture again. But anyway, what this video is about is security, okay? If you're watching this video and you don't have 2FA enabled on your email, just go do that now, okay? Just put your phone number or something and no on your email. Just put like some kind of like 2FA on the email. It doesn't matter if you have 2FA and everything else if your email doesn't have it. Because if they get access to your email, then you might as well just be fucked anyway, right? I know some people might disagree and have different opinions, but at the end of the day, if you don't have it, then you're not doing yourself any favors. And I think that at least by having it on, then better suited than not. And the second thing you should do, I suppose, I think as a content creator, you should have some more responsibility. Like there was 20k people, some bots in the slowest the stream, and they were like spamming this link that you should click on, which obviously wasn't a very good link to click on. But we can get to that later. Then the next thing you should do after you've done that is just check your email. Go and have a beam pwned, check your email. If there's any breaches, Usually this um, data that gets found or like hacked gets uh, compiled and like put on like the dark web or something. It really doesn't matter. Like Tone of Salem, I know what's done that. So like they take every like password, login, email, everything like that. And it's like publicly available. It's like if you were to like find an email, go on the, on the dark web, you'll find the password and everything to their account. But it really depends. Some gets sold privately, some gets like just listed on the dark web, it doesn't matter. But if you do find like some websites that you haven't like changed password on, just do that if you care enough. If not, at least like change the password in your email before you do enable your 2FA. And also you can go on your email and check if there has been anyone logged on to it. And that's just like a general good thing to do. And the reason I'm actually making this video is because my mother was uh, also uh, hacked. I'm not sure what happened to her. But she lost her Instagram account, and uh, you're not getting it back. Like, Instagram doesn't have support, okay? So if you lose your account, it's gone, right? And when the hacker gets to it, they'll, f like, change it, message all your friends with, like, some links, try and get them to click on them as well. And then eventually that account's going to get locked and disappear forever. So you're going to lose access to all your pictures, whatever, right? So you don't want that to happen. What happened to her, I'm not sure. I know she didn't have to have enabled. I've done that. There might be some software, it's hard for me to tell. Like, people click on random shit. It is what it is. But at least if you have 2FA enabled, you're, like, more secure than if you don't. If you, if you do find, like, some sketchy websites here, yeah, or, like, maybe you have a website, like, Town of Salem was, like, same password as your email, then obviously that's an easy thing to do. And if someone does take enough time, they are going to be able to link all this up. And then after you've done this and you've seen that, okay, it hasn't been breached, has been breached, whatever, then you can go on an OSIM website like EPO, so I'll link these websites below. And then you'll put in the email here, right? And then you check. This is obviously not my email, it's a random one. <laughs> Just, <laughs> I don't think anyone's going to be upset that I put Josh at email. It's kind of obvious, right? Uh, OSIM can be used for malicious intents as well. But I'm not going to go into that too much. You're free to look it up yourself if you're not familiar but basically it will find everything right or not everything but a lot and now we see there's like four things here blah 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 and sometimes there'll be passwords they'll show names id pictures whatever right and if like things are here that you don't want to be shown then obviously you want to get rid of that and there are ways of doing that too and i'm just making you guys aware of the websites so then then how to perhaps do that as well. It's just a awareness video basically. And the second thing here, like same with this pen tester website, something you check too, right? It will give you like a good oversight too. A pen test that was made by a guy on YouTube that was like being interviewed. It's very knowledgeable about the dark web apparently, but again you can see like <laughs> Yeah. Funny things. Yeah, these are the tools you can use to like give a rough idea as to like what kind of area you're in. Most likely if you're using a Gmail account and it's relatively new, you're not going to have anything here. It's before usually because the users store the passwords differently and now, especially in the Europe, 
it's a bit different, so it's very unlikely that it'll happen as frequently as it did before, but you can see like back in the day, like 2015, 16, 14, anything before that it was like very frequent, but then it's like ended up getting less and less, right? But yeah. Don't end up like a Lois and don't end up like Drutut. Be smart, enable 2FA and stay safe. And don't click on random links. And if you do want to click on random links, there are ways to not be infected or fucked as well. Okay. Um, I think it's called... I'll f I can link it below. But basically, there are there's a browser with like virtual PCs where you can look, and you can also like preview websites, Google, and usually you'll have like websites that will be able to like see the website for you, so you don't have to actually like expose yourself to anything if you do want to check it. And also another thing you can do is um. Uh, this here, you can check like who owns the website to like see the legitimacy of it. Of it. Like oftentimes you see a website and it seems weird, and then you can see like here yeah, like when the website was created, when it's expired. Uh, it just really depends like where you go. I mean there are a lot of like different websites like this, and some will have more or less information. But generally speaking, if you're like clicking on something random, just take your time to like just check it, like double check, okay? Because all it takes is one click and you're fucked. So uh, be a bit cautious. People are smart. And not everyone, <laughs> we're not as smart as we like to think. So uh, yeah, this is just an awareness video. Hope you guys uh, stay safe and uh, don't be pwned. Okay? Take care. Have a good one. Peace.